Sledgehammer Games just dropped a pretty important update here for Modern Warfare 3's multiplayer, fixing a bunch of the major issues we had with the game. We're going to go through what they did in today's video. Be sure to subscribe for more COD update videos like this, and I will give away some beta codes down below in the description for the first two days here of Weekend 2. PC and Xbox players need a beta code to play or need to pre-order MW3 to play. Of course, the entire Weekend 2 PlayStation players can play no beta code or pre-order required and for the last two days here of this beta all players can play it's an open beta no beta code or pre-order required again let me know down below if you have any questions on that but for the update here a lot of big changes off the bat this is not really an update we already knew this but of course the level cap has now been raised to level 30 and at level 30 you could get that main operator skin that red beta operator skin that a lot of people are going for so be sure to go for that of course you will be able to use that in the final game mw3 when it launches on november 10th but for content here again too we of course have the introduction of high rise which i'm very excited for we also have orlov military base a new ground war map as well which is a poi from the urzik stan warzone map can't wait to see that one for modes here we have that 3v3 v3 mode known as cutthroat we saw showcased at cod next and of course search and destroy a classic mode there now for the patch notes here a bunch of pretty cool changes honestly for gameplay enemy operators will now display a red nameplate above their head super great w there because right now enemy visibility in the beta is a bit lackluster a lot of people including me have been saying like sometimes i'm shooting at people where i cannot tell if that's an enemy or a teammate so that is definitely a w there another thing here our team is preparing an update to decrease the slide to sprint delay we'll provide details on release timing as they become available so that's not out just yet but they're still working on the slide to sprint delay which is another big w as well people are saying remove the delay or at least decrease it a little bit make it so that whole process is much more seamless which is going to make the game flow much more better which overall i think is another big w as well let me know down below your opinions on that now for weapon changes here a lot of changes so reduced attack stance spread while sliding for several weapon classes so for ars decreased by 17 to 26 percent SMGs decreased by 14 to 17 percent. LMGs decreased by 30 to 45 percent. Marksman rifles decreased by 29 to 31 percent. And pistols decreased by 10 to 20 percent. Interesting stuff there. For the striker, we have a pretty massive nerf here. Decrease near medium damage from 39 to 36. Decrease near medium damage range from 24 meters to 19 meters. Decrease medium damage range from 30 meters to 25 meters here. Uh, decrease far medium damage from 28 to 27. Decrease medium damage from 23 to 21. Increase headshot damage multiplier from 1.2 to 1.3. A slight buff there, I guess. And then increase the lower arm damage multiplier from 1 to 1.1. So overall a, a nerf it seems like definitely not going to be as good at a longer range which is kind of fair because smg shouldn't be that good at a longer range right like the striker was practically an smg and an ar so i think that's a pretty good change overall not a big deal and they go on to say we expect the striker to remain a competitive option thanks to its fire rate and excellent accuracy however these changes reduce its damage output at long distances preventing it from outperforming assault rifles adjustments to damage multipliers intend to increase the consistency of this weapon for killstreaks here the guardian got a nerf it seems like decrease health from 550 to 400 interesting there decrease lifetime 120 seconds to 60 seconds 50 percent decrease Inter i didn't realize the guardian was that overpowered but i guess it needed a massive nerf i don't know let me know down below for modes here ground war vehicles driven by the player no longer have limited fuel hard point disabled overhead spawn camera sequence upon respawn that's a w there i, I honestly don't like that overhead spawn camera sequence it's just it's kind of annoying i want to get right back into the game as soon as possible i get why they do it but i'm glad for hard point that has been completely removed there for maps here some pretty interesting changes for a state at a collision near various areas of the waterfall to prevent players from accessing unintended locations favela players will no longer be killed immediately after respawning near the yellow car on the side street that has never happened to me but let me know down below if that's a thing uh pop off power at a collision near reactor beta to prevent players from accessing an unintended location okay and their team is also investigating reports of poor spawn selection quality and making adjustments for launch in the meantime please be sure to clip unfavorable spawns and share them with us so right now the sliding issue and the spawn issue still being further worked on i guess those are more complex issues but they're still acknowledging it here and letting us know that they're going to work on it for the future which is good 
For operators here, operator movement animations will now play properly in the moments following a respawn. For more UI changes, add a missing icon, the incursion a 12 long barrel attachment for the SVA 545. Players will now be properly notified of the playlist updates while idling in the menus. For stability here, address the crash that occurred while matchmaking in the ground war playlist, address the multiple crashes that occurred while launching the game, resolved an issue that caused an error message stating a required network service has failed upon attempting to join another player's party. So those are all the changes there. Pretty important stuff. What they're showing me and the whole community here is that they are super open to feedback. They are listening here and it seems like all of the changes they are making are for the betterment of the game and for the betterment of the community and actually the changes that we want to see in the game which is so so fire so this is a good sign for the rest of the game's future here of course we'll see what ends up happening but right now this looks pretty good also by the way sorry for the lack of videos the past couple of days i've been super sick just beautiful timing getting insanely sick right during a pretty busy time for call of duty so I'm still kind of messed up right now, but I'm a lot better to, you know, be able to make this video. Hopefully after this video here, I might add my first gameplay on high rise, which I'm very excited for. So if you see that after this commentary, be sure to watch it. Really do appreciate it. And I will be having more streams throughout the weekend as well, playing the final days of this beta. So let me know down below your opinions on the beta overall. Be sure to subscribe for more COD update videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys. All right, here we go, baby. High rise. They got to give me TDM, of course. Can't just give me a good domination lobby, but it's all good. I'll take TDM for now. I'll take it. I just want to play high. Bro, I've been backing out for like five minutes. None of these lobbies have high res, apparently. I don't know, like, what's going on. But, um, yeah, super excited for high res. Because right now, the beta maps are good. But, you know, they, I don't know if they pick the best maps. I, I don't know. I, I, the beta maps are fine. But high res is a classic, man. Imagine if the beta maps were like high res, terminal, uh, Afghan, Skid Row. Like, that'd be crazy. But at least we have high res here. Let's make it happen. Let's drop a nuke first game on. Let's get, um, what's this? The uh, ACR? We got the elevator sequence here. Pretty cool. Pretty cool here. This is a matters live com. You guys ain't ready for this. Guys, I've been so sick. I haven't played Call of Duty in four days, bro. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be good though. Let's see. Let's drop him already. Oh, we got dudes up here. Oh, no. Hopefully, SBMM didn't. Oh, no. I don't know where I'm. Oh, this is not going to be good. Yeah. Go. What the hell? Damn. You tried, Desi. You tried as well. Come on. Oh, Desi. See, Desi was roasting me the first couple kills. Or deaths, I should say, for me. And now I'm warming up. And now it ain't that easy. Oh no, they're all spawning there. Oh ho! What is he doing up there? Yeah! Oh ho! Oh ho! Oh! Fortunate. Is that a YouTuber? Is that guy still out there? What the? Get off that! Yeah. Oh, what's going on down here? Yeah, I'll take that, Desi. I mean, first impressions are that this map's pretty solid. You definitely have to, like, be aware at all times. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is not a chill map. You gotta really be aware. It's almost like a Rust vibe. A little, a little better than Rust. Rust is super hectic. Uh, but this is pretty hectic. You know what I mean? There's a lot of, like... Oh, this guy. Oh, no. We're both just struggling. Okay. Me and Desi, we're both struggling there. <laughs> yeah, there's just a lot going on. A lot of lines of sight. Like, you can't just run out. You have to really, like, see, like, I was not paying attention. We won by a kill. 
That's rough. We won the first game on a high rise, guys. I'll take it. Uh, so not my not my best game there. That's my first, look. I'm a po that's my first game on high rise, bro. It's a it's a solid map. Is this my favorite map? That's only my first game, but I would say no. Off the <laughs> it's it's good. I, I would say this is um. I would say this is up there. I would say right now this is in the middle for me. Better than Estate. Is it better than Favela? Might be tied with Favela. See, I don't know. Cause like Favela is insane. But I actually have a lot of uh, I have a lot of fun in Favela, like going through the buildings, getting a lot of kills quickly. It's kinda I don't know, if you play it correctly, it's fun. So first impressions are it's in the middle of my ranking. We'll see as the weekend goes where high rise places. It easily could change in my ranking as I get more games in. But let me know down below your first impressions of high rise. Uh look. Do we get a surprise map this weekend? Probably not, but that's it for now. I can't wait for all the maps for, you know, when MW3 actually comes out. I mean, it's going to be so, so fun. But for now, this is what we have. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.